I wondered how strange it must be to come to a place where no one understood you. Mr. Cocovinus came to town four years before from Greece. He left his wife and son behind until he saved up enough money working in the mines to open the Palace Cafe and bring them to America. I knew how happy he was not being alone anymore. Beef stew, Mama. You saved my son from bullying. Yes, Mr. Cocovinus. But tell him that my name is Tom and that my brother's name is John. Ifilisu, que Tom, que John. In English, you say my son's name is Bessel. Bessel. Patera, thamu ares in atus caleso, na fane mazimu. My son would like to invite you and your brother to have lunch with him. Uh, how about a bowl of chili, a coconut cream pie? All right. You'll be my son's friend. I give you anything you want. Mr. Cocovinus, there are certain things that Basil will need to play with the other kids. You know, marbles, baseball, slingshots. I'll be glad to help him get them. But it will cost some money. Oh. Mm. Thank you, Mr. Cocovinus. That should just about cover it. We had one of the nicest homes in Aidenville, and the only water closet. No one ever heard of putting an outhouse inside. But it turned out to be one of Papa's few inventions that didn't end up in the attic. On the day it was installed, Tom charged kids a penny apiece to watch it flush. He said it was worth it to watch history being made. Mama made him give the money back. She was the most beautiful woman on earth. At times like this, I wish I were their age. Not with Tom in the same town. Oh, Bertha, he's not a malicious boy. It wasn't my guardian angel to put a garter snake in my bed the first night I was here. But that was so long ago. Well, I have a long memory. Aunt Bertha wasn't really our aunt, but we called her that because she was just like part of the family. I knew Tom would sell Basil everything but the kitchen sink to get his hands on that silver dollar. Tom never ceased to amaze me. He was able to get rid of all his old junk without saying one word. How do you like Marvel so far? I'm not playing for keeps. Aren't you ashamed for noting all your old junk on Basil and cheating him out of 90 cents? It wasn't junk. It was all stuff that American kids have. Well, take these secondhand marbles. You charged him as much as new ones. Uh, that's enough marbles for one day. Tomorrow we learn English. First word you should teach him is sucker. I guess your brain is too little to understand. You see how happy I made Basil? And you saw how happy I made his father. Would you rather abandon Basil and let all the other kids make a fool out of him like they did this morning? I think you owe me an apology, J.D. I'm sorry. What a beaut! I've never seen a better example of a sedimentary rock. Do you know how old this might be? Older than Miss Thatcher. If it's from the Pleistocene age, maybe 10,000 years old. I walked right over it. It's like people walking on you for 10,000 years. How 
howdy. Where are you fellas going? Exploring. Want to come along? Nah, we have to teach JD how to swim. <laughs> Brownie hates dogs. Uh, JD, we better get going before the sun goes down and you chicken out. Don't drink too much water, JD. JD, let me meet Brownie and Lady, and I'll see you get the pick of the litter. I don't need you for that. I'm the owner of the mail dog. I get the pick of the litter anyway. You'll probably pick the worst pup in the litter. How much will it cost me? How can you think such a thing? You know I'm good at judging puppies. I just don't want my own brother to get stung. You mean, you'll do it for nothing? Of course, J.D. It's a deal. And remember, you said it wouldn't cost me anything. Swin, how long do you think it'll take me to learn how to swim? Uh, not long at all. I have a foolproof method. The first thing every kid in Aidenville had to promise when he went exploring was not to go near Skeleton Cave. It was a mammoth cave, and Papa told us it had several levels, with passageways and labyrinths extending for miles. The only part of the cave that had been explored was the big entrance chamber and a passageway leading to a smaller chamber. It was called Skeleton Cave because two skeletons had been found inside the smaller chamber. I guess Frank and Alan hadn't heard that story. Hey Frank, come here, have a look at this. Deep. I'm going to have to leave the knapsacks here. Let me go! I'll drown! You won't drown. Just dodge paddle. And it won't do any good to yell for help, J.D., because I'm not going to jump in after you. Please let me go. Do you want me to tell Poppy you acted like a coward and disgraced the name of Fitzgerald in front of all these kids? Okay. I'll go but by myself. or I'll throw you off until you do.
Mom and Papa will never forgive you too if I drown. By the time I had learned how to swim, Frank and Alan were lost, deep inside Skeleton Cave. I can't go on! 